Hello everyone, this is Zenaceto from Team Plasma here, and before I get this game started, I would like to make some few announcements. First of all, we've received an influx, a massive influx of views and uh, subscribers, so if you're new to the channel, welcome. And this is going to be the first time I'm going to be casting a pro level game, as in like Grandmaster, as you can tell by the new added Grandmaster icon in the top left of the video right now. So yeah, this is going to be my first uh, pro level game that I'm going to cast. And second of all, you will be seeing more of the other players. I know I've been like hogging all the channel, you know, but we will be seeing other people and their uniqueness. And by the way, I've just been promoted to gold, that also. And the last thing I want to touch on is we might be having a tournament later in November. So stay tuned on that. We'll, we'll have a video up as soon as know it's uh, we decided on the details and stuff so let's get to it all right so in the left hand side of uh, I think this is oh, I forgot what map it is oh terminus re yeah I remember terminus we we have liquid TLO spawning as the red Terran and in the north 12 o'clock position we have the yellow Zerg Lyle Spanishwa. So yeah, this is... I, I don't know what to expect here. Oh, and I have also forgot to mention one thing. Um, one more thing. Post in the comments below what you want to see more of because, well, I've tried Battlefield, i tried Portal, i tried uploading uh, different stuff on my channel, testing it out, see what happens. Uh, obviously, there'll still be StarCraft, but what do you guys... I, I want to know what you guys want to see on our channel besides StarCraft because well just only StarCraft videos sometimes gets boring I know I know you guys probably won't get bored of it but come on gotta we have lives too so yeah that's pretty much all I have to say about our channel right now and yeah that's pretty much it so Spanishua and Liquitil I, I don't know when this game was played but I know this was played uh, a while ago in the TSL 3 I don't know when that was but anyways um, not gonna be impacting this a lot hopefully but um, I, I guess it could whatever so yeah Spanishwa is gonna be scouting in the right direction for the first time uh, right scouting in the right direction so yeah He's going to be grabbing a fast expansion right now at 16 supply. And of course, the C replay. Yeah, I just grabbed the Salva replay sign. Mm -hmm. Anyways, Spanishwa is going to be grabbing his expansion at uh, 16. Going to be putting a spawning pool down right after that. And let's see what TLO does. No gas from each of them, either of them yet. And barracks. One one marine just finishing. Oh, that drone's gonna be have to be careful. And that drone's probably gonna get killed, right? No, oh, one HP drone. That's that's pretty interesting. I know I don't really sound very enthusiastic. I'm sorry, but that drone does get taken out by those two SCVs. Sorry, I don't feel very enthusiastic at all. But anyways, uh, Liquid TLO. I don't think yeah, Liquid TLO has not scouting Spanishwa's base yet, but in fact he is gonna be taking his expansion right here um, without you know not, not building it in the base just building it right here might be vulnerable to early attacks but he probably knows that um, Spanishwa's gameplay probably won't be doing some early harass or anything like that early cheese harass whatever so he is also going to be lifting up his barracks going to be adding on another barracks right here going to be making a wall to defend his natural base and uh, he does have one gas right now. Spanishwa has still has no gas. Mm, we'll see when he gets that gas. We do see two lings from Spanishwa coming down right now. Uh, I would assume to see what's happening. Scout some more. Right now, Liquitiello is just just now building. Oh, the lings see the tech lab. I guess that's good scouting. Yep. So that's the third barracks going down. Nothing else from TLO besides the second gas. And that expansion is still working on it. And that mule. It, yeah, okay, good. See? He's a good enough player. He knows. <laughs> TLO is going to be scouting <coughs> Spanishwa last. 
gonna be seeing that expansion and those spine crawlers go down and he's gonna be poking in here to see what is happening he does not see ooh he didn't see any gas well he didn't see the gas so he doesn't know if there is gas or not so Benishwa gonna be taking an early third hmm an early third this is interesting I haven't really seen an early third in any of my league games considering that one well, lower league tends to have less expansions fewer expansions that I should say so stim pack being upgraded because well every Terran has to have stim pack one zergling here gonna be scouting around does get taken out by those marines he does see those three barracks working on marines and those marines uh, the, no, the number of marines that is so let's see two gas from TLO I'm still oh two gas from Spanish well finally he's building it in his Ex uh, natural expansion. Wow, Zerg can really, really drone up really fast, huh? <laughs> I don't play Zerg, but um, yeah, I, I, I realize that because in high level gameplay, everything moves faster, generally, from what I've seen at least. So, nice creep spread going on from Spanishua. Uh, always wants, uh, always something you want to work on. A factory going to be built here with a reactor, probably going to change out with that starport because, well, everyone does that. So, he is building a reactor on that factory, going to be lifting it off changing it with starport factory is going to be of no use as he's going to go probably medevacs or vikings one of those probably medevacs though no third or fourth gas from Sp uh tlo right e just yet we do have a baneling nest on the way from spanishua where is that where's the baneling nest am i missing something where the heck is the baneling nest i mean it says it on the production tab but oh right there okay <laughs> baneling nest is going down for spanishua um, pretty standard as far. This overlord's finally gonna get to TLO's base to see what's going on, but of course TLO is uh, probably not gonna let this happen. So we do have the starport pumping out medevacs. Uh, no marauders actually. Wait. Okay, he does have combat shield. I think he's just gonna go mass marines. There's not one marauder on the field right now. Gonna be putting down an engineering bay to get those upgrades. Meanwhile, Spanishwa does he have an evolution chamber? He's just getting his lair. Uh, does he have an evolution chamber? No, he does not have evolution chambers, so he does not have any upgrades right now at thus far. Keeping up with those uh, those inject lava is very, very essential. Just now getting to evolution chambers, so keeping up on those upgrades. Upgrades very important in uh, the mid mid game. If you know you're going to go into the mid game now, TLO is going to be moving out with his marine medevac combo and. Well, Spanishwa is going to see this because of his awesome crew spread. And he does have a lot of Banelings. How many Banelings does he have if you look at the units tab? He has four Banelings with 15 more on the way. Uh, TLO is going to have to micro really well to defend against those Banelings. One Baneling blows up. To oh, all those Marines get taken out immediately. Half of those, that is. And there's going to be a lot of sidestepping if TLO wants to keep all these Marines. And I think he will lose all of them. Uh... There's just that's a lot. That's a lot of banelings and not enough marines. So right now TLO is going to be building his expansion kind of kind of far. It, uh, this seems a little misplaced, but he, he'll he'll lift it off. Anyways, uh, this is the I think this is the old version of ter Terminus. Uh, there's one Vespian geyser at the third rich Vespian geyser. These are really fairly easy to defend if you have missile turrets and stuff here. Going to be taking a fifth gas while Spanishwa has already his fifth gas yep and he does have spine crawlers here just to defend from any drops because well he did see those medevacs and he well in fact yellow is going to be doing a drop right here and Spanishwa is going to be seeing this oh 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 never mind Spanishwa doesn't see it but he will be taken out by those spine crawlers once he drops so TLO is going to be well aware of that Whoa, all those Marines need to be careful, get take, uh, picked up by those med medevacs. Almost getting obliterated by... Wow, that's a lot of links. There's a lot of links. So yeah, uh, <laughs> major differences between uh, lower level games and pro games. Well, I, I haven't seen this game go that fast before. And look at the production chap. Just amazing upgrades at once. Uh, what is this? There's Burrow being upgraded. There's plus one armor, plus one mail... Yeah, melee attack. There's hive being coming in, infested uh, investors coming in. Are there even investors on the way? No, there's no investors on the way because he will wait for those um, that 
professor of thingamajig. So yeah, and I think Baneling, Baneling speed, right? So yeah, he's getting everything in the book, managing his creep shred, keeping up with his Laro injects, and TLO still needs to saturate his third base right now, a little oversaturated in the natural. I wonder what he's actually doing right now. What, what is he actually doing? He's not moving these. He has nothing, absolutely nothing to defend them. Main. He does have two siege tanks out. He does have some siege tanks. Uh, Spanishwa did bust down that tech lab as well as uh, putting those on fire. So Otello <coughs> is now supply block. Excuse me. And Spanishwa, as this is going on, he's going to be taking his fourth base. That's a lot of bases. And going to be morphing in more bane lanes. He is floating a thousand minerals right now. And meanwhile, TLO is going to be doing a siege tank drop. Oops, what happened there? I don't know if uh, Spanishua sees this or not. TLO needs to siege those up. He will do so exactly. And by the time those lings come into play, those siege tanks will be sieged. That's exactly what we see there. Those investors being taken out. Lings might be able to take out these tanks if there are enough, to them, enough of them. Ooh, TLO not paying attention and going to be losing everything because, well, he didn't pay attention. So very cost-effective zerglings right there not cost-effective siege tanks and marines so TLO is definitely gonna have to step it up a notch uh, Spanishwa is gonna be taking this guy's third this if the other person spawned there this would be a third so rich Vespian geyser and automaton awesome if you haven't seen the automaton 2000 micro video go watch it now and these zerglings and mainlings are gonna be going <laughs> under the medivacs even though there's nothing on them just suspecting. Never, never good to have medevacs floating over your opponent's army. So he does have quite a few infestors right now. He does have about six, and all with uh, pretty high energy. A lot of banelings and a lot of zerglings. Meanwhile, TLO only has tanks, medevacs, and marines, which are pretty good. Uh, I'm not going to say this is bad, but it's pretty good. Although those siege tanks are going to be doing a lot of splash damage to those lings, if not micro properly. Still oversaturated in the second, in, in the natural. Going to be, wow, that's a lot of two idle workers. A lot of supply devotes because, well, he's almost supply blocked. Neural Parasite being upgraded right now for Spanishua. More, oh, Viking is coming out and Kindness Blading. Wait a second. Did, did I, oh my gosh, I completely missed these. Wow. Okay, I completely missed the fact that he was building an Ultralist Cavern, but anyways, he is, and he's going to be researching that plus one, uh, plus two armor, and he does also have a Nidus network. I don't know where the other part is. Oh, here's the Nidus network. Here's the Nidus worm. Very, very good for easy transport across bases, just as this. And TLO did a drop, which was very, very cost effective, considering that he made Spanishwa cancel that base, and a lot of Zerglings just got taken out. So, another nice swarm. Gonna be pretty good at transporting units far distances, which I think is very smart because, well, it, it's, it's fine. Oh, Spanishwa needs to micro those Zerglings back before he engages with those Marines. Needs to not waste that bay. Oh, that Bane just got wasted. You wasted that Bane. And TLO needs to move this Meta. Oh, never mind. Gonna be doing another drop at the same time, landing those Vikings. Uh, wait, I don't, I don't know why he landed those Vikings, but probably fearing some uh, air units from Spanishwa. But however, Spanishwa does not have any spire, and going to be spewing out his units from the nice work network. Going to be doing a fungal growth on those Marines. Very, very helpful, as well as because well, the Medivacs are kind of Medivacs do, do help, but Ultralists are on the field right now, and armor is up. So these are these are very very massive killing machines and could pose a possible big threat so oh no TLO is not sieged up and gonna be taking a lot of damage from these ultras at his front door uh, however wow that, that siege tank did a lot of damage how much does that do? 50 damage against armored so yeah that, that's, that seems about right so these vikings just gonna be getting free kills off these overlords because uh, because Spanishy was being ignorant and put them all in the enemy base. Gonna be adding some more star ports for more Vikings. TLO probably needs to make another expansion. At the same time, Spanishwa is gonna be putting a Nidus Network here, spreading creep, and just doing massive queens. Wow, mass queens. I never seen that before. Uh three yep, gonna be scouting those creep tumors, cleaning that up. And that 
needs to be repaired, which is exactly what is happening. Plus one attack just being upgraded. Well, plus one. That that took a while. <laughs> that took a while for plus one to finish. While Spanishwa just got a whole bunch of upgrades in that time. He is going to be taking his, I believe it's fifth base. He needs to saturate this base as well. Oversaturated in the... Not really oversaturated. It's, it's okay. Probably needs to make more drones instead of ultras and, and some units. But Terran plus one plus one with the armory, getting some more upgrades right there. While Smishma going to be going for armor level three and attack level three. So landed Vikings. Oh, need a yeah. Okay, need a lift up in the air because ultras are very strong. That's all I can say. Ultras are very strong. I don't know. Well, I guess Terran could counter that with with banshees or and such, but whatever. Spanishwa just bringing all the queens here because he is crazy and just transfusing those those uh, ultralists. Very, very smart play by Spanishwa. Actually, I think I've seen this before. But anyways, it doesn't matter if I've seen it before. Those transfuses are absolutely amazing. That ultralist needs to get transfused and is not taking any damage from Spanish, uh, from TLO. TLO not sieging up because one well, doesn't really care about that anymore. And I think this is going to be GG as TLO just did not have enough units, did not have enough uh, harassing time. He is doing a drop here, but it's not going to do much as well. Those spine crawlers are doing a lot of damage. And TLO is going to be GGing out of this game. Just not enough units, not enough of the right units. And Spanishwa just playing it out his own style. Getting a lot of upgrades just shows how important upgrades are. As Tila only got plus one, plus one, and Spanishwa got, well, plus three, plus three was on the way. And that's pretty much it. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe add it to your favorites if, if for some reason this is your favorite video. <laughs> one of your favorite videos. Probably not, but still. And if you didn't like it, post in the comments below how you think I can improve on my casting abilities. And this is Zenith Idol signing off.